Now, what led to Silk Road? I, I'd love to um, hear that story. For those of you that were not here Tuesday, um, Silk Road is Nervous Company, where she, you know, specifically supports um, businesses that are in the food and beverage industry. And the reason why I personally gravitated to Nerva was because in my search for experts to come and, and speak at FIU, many, you know, had the positionality that, you know, this topic is only for the large companies. This topic is only for major corporations. And that is completely wrong, right? We, we, are, we witness you know, a supply chain experience here locally with all of our farmers, our, you know, our restaurants, um, our small businesses that have packaged products in, in retail locations. Those of you who do blind label activities, there's just so much diversity. It's, it's already happening, but I noticed that the conversation wasn't happening. And so when I had the chance to find you know, Nerva in regards to her expertise, it was, um, it was great. Now, I, I would love to um, hear the story on what led you to create this company. Sure. So um, I will piggyback on what you said just a little bit before that. 70% of the wealth in America is inherited, right? So it's um, everybody that thinks it started from the ground up, those are, I mean, it's few and far in between. We do exist, right? But um, it is, I agree percent so that's what i'm so focused about i'm doing legacy work because it's bigger than me right i'm creating something for you know my nephews and, and so i completely agree with you so that they don't have to you know fight as hard as i had to fight to sit at the table and even when i'm sitting at the table i still you know with all this education all this experience i still got questioned right um i remember going into and i'm leading to your question as to why I'm, i built silk roads um i went to germany to lead a team um uh Airbus team, right? So Airbus is one of the biggest manufacturers. If you guys know a Boeing, it's basically um, Boeing's competitor. So I went to Air, um, went to Germany to lead that initiative. They were starting a new team. They were a whole new program and they needed someone to come in and just basically handle the supply chain, right? So take it from the idea all the way to the finish, like plane and, you know, make sure it's functioning, make sure we're getting parts. So a lot of aircraft hardware is what we call that, right? So all the, the bolts, the screws, and things that go on the plane that we don't think about, you know, that actually holds the plane together. Um, that's what I was um, responsible for going over to Germany to do. I walked into the, the, the first day in Germany. Um, I'm so excited, right? I'm like, oh my gosh, this is, you know, for, I'm first gen, right? My mom never had this opportunity. My mom is like calling me and she's so, I'm happy that she's happy, right? right. Um, because, you know, I've had this opportunity and, I, and again, I, I would never be where I'm at without my mother putting me in the places that she put me. So I'm forever grateful for her. Um, but I go there the first day I walk into the room and the, the guys, I'm, and so aviation is a man uh, field industry. Okay. So let's be, let's be real here. So <laughs> it's a bunch of men, white men, and just gonna, I have to call a spade a spade. And I'm the only black person in the room, black woman in the room. And, um, they're like, oh yeah, we're waiting on Nerva to, to get here. And I'm like, I, I am Nerva. They're like, you're Nerva? I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I'm Nerva. So they could not fathom that this young black woman was about to lead this initiative, like no way, right? So um, that for me is, I'm like, okay, I, I have an, I'm, so I'm, I'm qualified. I know what I'm doing and I'm still not good enough to be at this table. So that for me, that's frustrating on the, the journey, right? I'm sitting and I've, I have my dream job now and I'm still fighting to sit at this table. And then I'm meeting small business owners as well along my path and my journey that have supply chains, you know, the things that I do in my the corporate work, right? I'm meeting small business owners and they're, like you said, like when you and I first talked, we had a passionate conversation about it. I'm like, how do y'all not know y'all have a supply chain? Yes, you do, you do. <laughs> you have one, it exists, okay? Whether you know it or not, supply chain exists. So um, it got me started thinking like, you know, why can't I apply my gifts to the people that really need it, right? That I don't have to fight for position. I'm gonna create my own table and I'm going to help other people see their power too. So um, the one thing about me, and maybe because I'm an orphan, uh, there no means nothing to me. I'm relentless in anything that I want, I will go get it. I am going to work for it to that's just it, that's me. If you know me, that's just how I, I'm built. Um, so from that point on, I'm like, okay, I'm going to do this. 
I'm gonna do afraid, I'm, I'm scared, I don't know, you know, I don't know all the entry. I know that I know how to find information out. That's the one thing about supply chain too. Like you wanna build a plane, okay, I don't know all the answers, but guess what? I know how to find them. I know how to get the right resources in place to make sure that this happens. Um, so that's what drove me to build Silk Roads to help small business owners that I was meeting, you know, understand the power of their supply chain, understand what it is, what is it, one, right? Acknowledging it and then starting to come to current terms with how do they actually take, you know, advantage of the opportunities that lie around them. Because like I said, we all have one, you know, these big corporations that I was working for, yeah, they have more money. But if you have, you're in a better position actually as a small business owner because you're smaller. So you can actually move faster on decisions versus like an Airbus, you can't move as fast there, right? There's a lot right. more decisions that have to be made. But if you're smaller and you acknowledge your supply chain, then you can make those changes quickly and actually be in a position to move, um, you know, and actually take opportunities, you know, leverage those opportunities. So someone like me, even when, when we were, I was at Airbus, it would be actually advantageous. We actually looked for small business owners because we knew that they could move quicker with supporting like, you know, and uh, uh, basically plane on the ground, right? So we had things where we needed parts right away. And those are airplanes, boots, like airplanes on the ground. So we needed to make sure the parts could get there. So we would go to specifically to a small business because we knew that they could navigate quicker instead of like going to someone like an Alcoa which is much bigger and it would take them like months to produce the part, part. So again, there's a lot of power. So I built Silk Roads to help empower small business owners to know that it does exist. And how can we, you know, again, identify those opportunities.